Welcome grade 12 to income tax calculations. All right, let's get uh, to the scenario that's been given. You have Caesar. Caesar is a 67 year old man. Uh, he earns 45,000 per month. He contributes 3,750 per month to a pension fund. He also contributes to a medical aid for himself, his wife and a child. All right, let's go to the questions. Number one, calculate Caesar's annual income. To calculate the annual income, we need to take the monthly income, uh, 45,000 in this case, and then we'll multiply it by 12. Okay, so if we take the 45,000, excuse me, if we take the 45,000, which is the monthly income, then we multiply it by 12, we will get the annual income. So 45,000 multiplied by 12 will give us 540,000. So that is 540,000. That is how we calculate annual income. The only exception would be when there's a 13 check bonus, in which case to calculate the annual income, we would not multiply by 12, we would multiply by 13 because the 13 check gets taxed also. All right, but here there's no bonus, there's no 13 check. So to get the annual income, we just multiply by 12. Question two, calculate Caesar's taxable income. Now to get the taxable income, we would take the annual income which we worked out in the previous question and we subtract the pension, the annual pension. Okay, so the annual income uh, is 540,000 because we worked it out in the previous question. Then we need to subtract pension, but the annual pension. Uh, let's go back to the information. We are told that pension sees we contribute 3,750 to a pension fund. So to get our taxable income, we need to subtract, but it has to be the annual pension. So we multiply the 3,750 by 12 because we are looking for annual pension. So the 540,000, which is your annual income, minus your pension for the year 3,750 will give you your taxable income. Hope that makes sense. So our taxable income is our annual income minus our annual pension and it will give us 495,000. Moving on to number three. Once we have our taxable income uh, and we know our taxable income from the previous question, it's 495,000. So once we have our taxable income of 495,000, we may then use that taxable income to calculate Caesar's income tax, uh, but before deductions. All right, so in which bracket does Caesar's uh, taxable income fall into? That's the first bracket, that's the second bracket, that's the third, that's the fourth. And of course, as you can see, this taxable income falls in the fourth bracket. And what information do we have in that bracket? We are told that if a person falls into this bracket, they will pay a fixed amount of 110,739 plus 36%, there's a 36% there, plus 36% of any amount above 
any amount of his taxable income above that limit. So by how much is his taxable income of 495,000 above this limit? The only way to work that out is to take Caesar's taxable income of 495,000 and we subtract the limit in that bracket, which is 467,500. And then if you go to your calculator, we can now work it out. Caesar's tax before deduction. So we take 110,739 plus 36% of his taxable income. Subtract the tax limit in that bracket, which is 467. 500 and then that means Caesar's income tax before deductions 120 639 that is uh, Caesar's income tax before deductions okay now let's go on to the next question uh, now you're asked to calculate Caesar's income tax after deductions. And of course, the deductions that we are looking at here are your rebates. Okay, and your medical aid. So these are the deductions that uh, we are concerned with. All right, so for Caesar, we know that his income tax before deductions, we worked it out in the previous question, was 120, 639. So now let's subtract the deductions, starting with the rebate. So what rebate does CISO qualify for? Remember, in the beginning, we are told that CISO is 67 years old. So CISWE will now fall into this rebate bracket. So CISWE qualifies for the secondary rebate. But now remember, if CISWE qualifies for the secondary rebate, he also qualifies for the primary. Um, and of course, if someone who qualifies for the tertiary would also qualify for the secondary and primary. But CISWE is 67, he qualifies for the two rebates, he qualifies for the primary rebate, and the secondary rebate. So let's subtract those two rebates. 15,714 plus 8,613. So we subtract the two rebates, the primary and the secondary. Okay, now we come to the medical aid. We want to subtract the medical aid. Uh, at the beginning, we were told that Caesar contributes to medical aid uh, for himself, for his wife, and for his one child. Now, remember that medical aid credits are monthly or medical aid is paid monthly. So what we want to do is we want to put a 12 in front just to convert the monthly to yearly. Okay, so medical aid, the main member Caesar himself will pay 332 his wife will pay 332 and finally his one child will pay 224. All right, so now if we want to work out Caesar's tax after deductions, let's subtract uh, the deduction starting with the primary rebate and the secondary rebate because Caesar qualifies for both and then we also subtract but don't forget the 12 we also subtract medical aid it's 332 for Caesar 332 for the wife 224 for the child okay and if we subtract those uh, deductions 
we'll find that Caesar's income after deductions is 85,656. Let's just double check. Yes, so Caesar's income uh, tax after deductions is 85,656. So Caesar's tax, that's basically how much Caesar will pay uh, in tax after deduction. Let's move on to the last question. What is a tax threshold? A tax threshold is basically a tax limit below which you do not pay tax, okay? That is a tax limit below which you do not pay tax. And of course, if we are looking at the threshold, we're looking at the bottom part of the table here, the tax threshold. So for someone who is below the age of 65, the tax threshold is 87,300. Uh, that means if you are below the age of 65 and you earn less than 87,300 a year, you will not pay tax. And if you are between 65 and 74, and you earn less than 135,150, you will not pay tax. And if you are 875 and above and you earn less 151,100, you will not pay tax. So that's basically what a tax threshold is. It's the limit. Uh, people below the threshold do not pay tax and everyone above the threshold pays tax. Okay, so that is that part there, the tax threshold, the tax limit below which you do not pay tax. All right, thank you.